All hell of bid, it's your boy Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. All right, man, so today is another day, and what does that mean? That means we are back with yet another video, man. Look, man, I'm putting in this work, so hopefully you guys enjoy it, but today I have another very special unboxing for you guys. I got some things in the mail, man. So, um... Here's the backstory on this, man. I was chilling in the bed the other night, you know, kicking it with the boo thing, you know, watching a little Netflix and chilly chilling. And I got a little message, man. And the message said, King! I'm like, what's up, dog? What up, man? He said, look here, man. And he is Haney from Alexandria Fragrances. He said, hey, man, look. I got some things in the mail, man. I didn't, I didn't already ship it, you know? Sent, stilled, and delivered. You know, enjoy the rest of your night, man. Just know, I got that heat. I got that heat, dub. It's on the way. I'm like, all right, cool, man. Say no more. Say no more. It's in the mail. It's been sitting here, man. And not it's in the mail. I got it. It came in the mail. It's been sitting here for a while. Um, and it's time, man. I needed to get this content done. I wanted to smell it so bad. But I wanted to share this experience with you guys because he told me kind of some things he was sending. Um, I know one of the things he was sending was um, wasted moment. I always want to call it wasted moments. But it's Wasted Moment, and that's the Killian interpretation, or their inspired expression of Killian's Apple Brandy. And you guys know I enjoy that fragrance. I can do it side by side. I mean, there's a lot of Tom Ford inspired fragrances in here as well. So, I want to tear this thing open, all right? I want to tear it open and, and get to it. And today, I have my handy dandy screwdriver. <laughs> so here we go. We have a box. It says fragile. I don't know, I might have stabbed something. You gotta let the fragrances breathe, baby! My address was there, it's not there anymore. In case you were wondering. I don't know why I protect it, like I don't know why I put it away. Like a lot of YouTubers, they put it, hey, send me something, and <laughs> link it below. I mean, it's not my house, I guess I could do that, but I don't just want random people sending me stuff thinking because you sent it to me, I have to talk about it. Cause that's not how it works. It's not how this works, Janice. It's not how any of this works. My wife doesn't know what I'm talking about, she's not paying me no attention. All right guys, so here we go, packaging. You got some bubble wrap. Oh, I was about to break some stuff. Uh, I'm about to break it. Let's see what we got. We got one, two, three. Oh my God. It's like all together. It's like a long train of bubble wrap. I was about to break everything. That would have sucked. Yeah. Yeah, take that. Take that. All right. Four, five. I did it, so what? Uh, you knew it was coming. Like, don't look at me like that. You knew that that box was gonna get tossed. Oh, that is. <laughs> it's a box, not a, not a salad. I don't know why I look like that. <laughs> and there are two decants in here as well. I feel like somebody told me about this one. Sweet Revenge. I feel like a subscriber hit me up and said, hey man, have you tried Sweet Revenge yet? And I was like, no, I gotta get my nose on it. Damn, where are my test strips? I don't know. All right, guys, so I wasn't fully prepared. I did not have my test strips here, so what I do have Sitting here is this Creed paperwork. And we're just gonna rip it up. We're gonna use it as a test strip and get down to these fragrances, understand how they smell. You gotta improvise sometime, all right? Don't judge me. All right, guys, so you already know about Alexandria fragrances. They do uh, fragrance clones. They also have some of their own fragrances as well. Um, the clones are called Inspired Expressions. Um, the I guess I, I have one review of Alexandria Fragrances, which is Cacao Dreams. That one was a really dope fragrance. I enjoy it. Compliment Monster. I called it a compliment monster many times. You guys went out there and bought it. At least some of you did. Told me that you enjoyed it as well. One of you guys told me that you didn't like it. Actually, you were a girl. Told me you didn't like it. I want to update. I want to know. Do you enjoy it now or not? I don't know. But anyway. Very nice house, man. They do very good fragrances. Um, so let's get down to it, man. Let's get down to it. Let's see what we got here. I wonder if this is the same thing. No, because one says intense and one doesn't. Get out of here. All right. This is uh, Agra. And this is Agra Intense. And from my understanding, I believe these are Tom Ford Oud Wood inspired expressions. This would be the standard Oud Wood, and this would be the Oud Wood Intense. This one would be the latest release from Tom Ford, which is not, it's not the latest release. It's the latest Oud Wood release, which is Oud Wood Intense. Let's take this one piece of Creed paper. Now listen, I understand this is not spraying it on skin, and I'm not gonna get, hmm, hmm. This one is, <laughs> stopping my track, I like this one. Yeah, baby. And the words of Michael Blackson, I can get jiggy with this shit. Yeah, I like that. Good job. I'm looking forward to that one. Look, and Old Wood is like a, a, a winter, fall and winter based fragrance, but 
You know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Wear what you wanna wear because you feel like it. And this is Oodwood Intense, which I'm not a fan of the regular Oodwood Intense, so let's see if I like this one. I like it. It's kinda like the regular Oodwood Intense. Like, I like it, but I'm not like a huge fan of that one. I like the regular Oodwood one, though. Agar. I do enjoy that one. Arabian Horse. Arabian Horse. Um, this is their take on Parfum du Mali Herod. You guys know they are all horses over there. <laughs> This one is dope too. Hanny, salute my friend. You're getting it done. I like both of those. <laughs> Listen, she likes it too. Yeah, that's that's nice. That's that's nice. Nice. How fabulous say nice? Nice. He also sent me a um, wasted moment. Listen, man, I was commenting on, I think his name is Fragmental. Listen, I, I don't know the, the regular channel name. I think his name is Fragmental on there. He had this on his channel. I've heard a few people talk about this one, but I think I commented on his video. I'm like, man, I got to, I got to get my nose on this. And, and now I have it. So the reason why I have to get my nose on this is because obviously you guys know, maybe you don't know. I don't think I did the actual video. I have apple brandy. Damn. It smells just like apple fucking brandy. This is the second time it's it stopped me in my track. Listen, let me tell you something, Handy. Listen to me, man. You gotta listen carefully, okay? Look, I be paying big money for stuff like this, all right? And you be going out here making it look so goddamn easy for people to get these type of fragrances for the low. All right, let me live, man. <laughs> but no, um, all jokes aside, man, that, that, that is nice. That is nice. Now she wants it. I don't know how he does it. I don't know. Hulk smash! I typically save those for the videos, but I know you guys were looking for that. Citrus Splash, Tom Ford. This is a uh, Mandarino de Malfi or something like that, I think. You got, you you will know what this is. I'll comment, I say I'll comment below that it know. I'll, I'll put it in the description box. I think that's, I think this one is Tom Ford, Mandarino, man, I don't know, De Amalfi, I, but I, something, something, something Tom Ford, they're not in the regular private blend bottle. You know, them colorful ones. I like this. Very citrus, uh, the name is Citrus Splash. <laughs> this is very citrusy. <laughs> I do like this. Don't be trying to rock me, woman. All right, so she doesn't like that one. It's 50-50. I like it. She doesn't. But I feel like there's some other fragrances that you don't like. Do you smell like this? Club Dinner Wheat Intense Man. You said it smelled like Lemony Pledge. So does that. And this one smells like Lemony Pledge to you. This might have Neroli in it. I'm, I, don't, I don't know what the no breakdown is on this one, but this could have Neroli in it. Tom Ford, Neroli Portofino. I hate it. I gave it away, and I think I just, I feel like I just ordered the 4711. I had that before, which is a dead on. I think 4711 was around first, and I gave that away, but I feel like I just ordered it again for some odd reason. I don't know why. I'll have to dive into it. I smell like this might have some Neroli in it though, which could give it that feel. I'll have to, I'll have to double check it. But a lot of you guys out there will like it. If you like those citrus-based fragrances, those bright ones, especially for spring and summer, and you trying to save some coin, he did it. Was it one, two, three, four, five? Five. And Dark Pleasure. I don't know what this one is. It sounds... It's nothing dark about getting it some pleasure. It's always bright, baby. Always bright. Dark Pleasure. All right. Oh, that's what this is. This is um, yours, Cafe Rose. This is their interpretation, their inspired expression of Cafe Rose. It's not as dark as Cafe Rose though, at least not off the um, initial spray to me. I think I think Cafe Rose is a little darker on the initial spray. Yeah, I wonder what these all smell like on a dry down because there's definitely, there's like, obviously I'm about to say Cafe Rose, there's Rose in here. This one's, this um, Dark Pleasure, Dark Pleasure, right? I'm about to say Dark Knight. Dark Knight, I gotta, I'm about to say Dark Knight on this, but Dark Knight, I'm getting you guys a review on that one. That, yes. Yes, bravo. Bravo, sir. But um, this one, it's not a, to me, this is a little lighter than um, the true uh, Cafe Rose. There's obviously, you can smell a rose in here. It's like a lighter version of the rose. It's a bit spicy. 
It's not as spicy as the Tom Ford Cafe Rose though. And I'm getting like little hints of coffee in there. I had to try these all out on the dry down, but my first take and first impressions, we got some bangers in here. I think um, two of those stopped me in my tracks. Two of those made me <laughs> pump the brakes and say, God damn, what are you doing on this? Um, oh, what is this one? Sweet Revenge. I was about to skip one. About to skip it. Um, got some smoke in here. I'm trying to detect the notes in this one. See exactly what it is. It smells like a mixture of the cacao dreams. It's like they took a hint of cacao dreams in there. But on first impression, cacao dreams is better on first impression. Obviously, I have to try all of these on skin, right? I'm giving you guys, oh, how do you smell on Cree pieces of paper, all right? That means nothing. I gotta try these on skin. Um, I will get, I think Dark Knight will be the next review that I do from Alexandria Fragrances because that is some stellar juice and if I could save you guys who need to save it, because not everybody needs to save the money. For you guys out there who need to save the money on, um, I'm not gonna tell you what the fragrance is, then um, I will tell you in that video because you will probably go ahead and save yourself some money because it's really dope. Um, that's what I got for you guys today, man. I like all of these fragrances. I like most of them. I won't say all of them because I'm not feeling this one right now. At least on the paper, this um, Argar Intense, which again, that one's like the, the Tom Ford um, Oud Wood Intense, which I'm not feeling that one. So, you know, if you were looking for to replicate it, then good job because I don't feel either one of them. Um, and then kind of all these, man. All these are dope. Five. And then this one I gotta try on skin. That's fair. You know what, I'm gonna move this one to a maybe because you don't like it. So, out of those, we got four of these that I like. Citrus Splash is gonna go in the middle, I like it, but the missus doesn't, she, she's, she's on a fence, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I got, man. Comment below and let me know what your favorite fragrance is from the house of Alexandria Fragrances, man. Have you tried these? Hanny, I like what you're doing, boss, you know? I'm just me, I'm not listening, I'm just a small time guy, you know, trying to make it out here in the world. And my, my opinion doesn't mean much, but I just want to tell you that I like this. I like what you're doing, um, at least what you sent me so far. Um, I know if I smelled everything, <laughs> I might strike out, but these, baby, I like it. Um, comment below and let me know what you guys enjoy. Have you tried these fragrances? Have you, have you like, hey, I'm in love with these Big Beard B, Big Beard B. Let me know what I should try from the house, man, <laughs> you know. Um, I like these. That's all I have to say on that. I'm your boy, Big Beard B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And if you want to see more boxes get crushed, more fragrances get sprayed, if you want to see me slaughter more fragrance companies, if you want to see me break and stab, just hit the goddamn bell.